same thing as because I don't like it when people are murdered. That's kind of my whole thing. You care about humans. You care about babies that weren't even born yet. Babies are humans. What's the difference? Are they not human beings? What are they? They're not. They're not. That doesn't make them less human beings. Are you about to cry? Why are you out here even supporting him? You come. Get your ass back. Get your ass back. High T Biden boomer? Go see your Remember when Barack Obama had a dog? Wouldn't it have been kind of epic if our first black president just straight up had a f***ing pit bull? I'm out here because our democracy is at risk and this dangerous president is in my hometown. And if he wins my hometown, he's Why probably- Why do you look like you're rapping a verse right now? Because I technically <laughs> am in my mind. That's how I compose my sentence structure. Instead, we must be united by the sounds of the ambient didgeridoo. <laughs> Like the ratio is like 32 to 1. Couples all okay, over who are infertile. What are you going to do about it? With my black heart. That's. What racist. do you mean black? What do you. Why, why is it. God. What's wrong with a black heart? Yeah, what's wrong with a black heart? You be beat up, okay? What? Just stop. Are you saying they're more likely to beat you up? Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. The white women, they just don't stand a chance. I'm too sharp. Oh. Test, test. We do a little thing called testing audio. It's called we do a little testing of the audio. We good? Yeah. How's the lighting? Let's go. We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. Okay. Speed run. Uh, talk. Much more protest. People. We got a didgeridoo. We got a megaphone. There's, there's very little that they can do about the situation at this point. Some guy came up. Yo, love your show. So I'm high energy. And uh, yeah. We represent a small yet vocal faction of Trump supporters known as the didgeridooers for Trump. Show them what we're about. Didgeridoers for Trump. Let's go. Like, when I get told didgeridon't, I just want a didgeridoo more. I want to find another didgeridooer and have a didgeriduet. Like, is that, is that too much to ask for? Is that too much to ask for in Trump's America? Evidently, yes, it is actually too much to ask for. I mean, we, we hear so much rhetoric. It's very militant rhetoric throughout the mainstream media coverage. All these other special interest groups and factions being represented. Tell me when's the last time you saw even a byline about didgeridooers for Trump. I'll save you the Google search. You haven't. Can I get your thoughts on didgeridooers for Trump? I've never heard one before, but go Trump. He's in support. See, that's how we gain the momentum just like that, one at a time. Thank you. we can all come together and be unified under the sound of this instrument. Did you happen to hear it? In case not... <laughs> is, is the protocol... It'd be kind of hard to play the didgeridoo with a mask on. Is, the, is the protocol that we're supposed to wear them outside too? I mean, you're around people, so okay. it's... Can I ask what you're filming for? Thank you. Got the mask on. We're coping a little bit. But maybe, maybe they'll talk to us. Epic. It is a nice, it's one of the nicer cope shields actually. So, we are doing, we do a little bit of, uh, it's called, we do a little coping, so. You know, I think it's ridiculous that um, we're even in this situation. As a country? As a country. What are some things that you think are ridiculous about it? Well, the fact that um, Trump became president in the first place is a little bit scary to me. That's the anger I'm telling you about, sir. That's the anger that's buried in your heart that God can set you free from. No, 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 you had... You had anger well before this day, sir. You got, you got anger, you got heart problems, sir. You need to get right with God. You need to get right with God. Okay, so he's this f***ing asshat who goes to, like, any equality thing ever. Like, prior to he har he's harassed people for years. But I really wish I had one of those because I know they have an aux cord and I would be playing WAP. Okay. So he is our local crazy guy. Yeah, uh, he sits. He's from here. He's usually downtown spewing his anti-homophobic hate to everybody. Anti-homophobic? Uh, anti. I'm sorry, homophobic. Okay. Um, but every single time there's a protest or an event that's LGBT friendly. 
he shows up and tries to antagonize people, which is obviously he has the right to do because the First Amendment yeah. allows him to. But, you know, sometimes he gets too close to people and people just don't know how to keep their distance and, and fights happen. Weren't you kind of in his face, though, a little bit? Yes, but I was holding the flag. The point of me right now is to hold the flag so that it's a barrier to people because I'll give an example. Somebody had, uh, uh, got in his face and touched him and he was like, I'm going to fight you. We don't want fights right now. Yeah. So my job right now is to be a barrier between him and us to protect his right and my right yeah and that's all i have to say thank so, you okay but no he he just he harasses everybody any chance he gets the women's march any type of protest for equal rights what is he saying right now um he's like trying to preach the hellfire to us so we have a squad of young women and they, they all want to dance to WAP using my megaphone. Yeah, and the didgeridoo. Hold Bro, on. I don't know if I can do that. No, no, it's not on your account. It's on mine. No, let's yeah. not do that. Because it's like, it just kind of makes me cringe, you know? Why does it make you cringe? I, I don't like that song. Oh? What does the you say Black Lives Matter? Yeah. What does that mean to you as a voter in 2020 America? We live in a very bifurcated society, and it's about time that we start waking up to the injustices that have really built this country. Yeah. What do you think would be two things that we could do as a country that would really put a dent in that problem? What do you think? Well, I don't know. My job is just to ask questions. Oh. And, and who are you with? Well, I don't have like an organization. My name is John. I have a YouTube channel that I'm trying to grow, and so yeah. I go to content like yeah. this, and I try and get stuff. Yeah. So, but, uh, anyways. Yeah. Well, I think that um, we need a lot more uh, kindness in this country. Yeah. And I think we need to really look at equality in a whole different way. I mean, we just gloss over it. So yeah. I think that um, both economic and cultural, um, racial, all of it. I'm out here because our democracy is at risk and this dangerous president is in my hometown and if he wins my hometown he's Why probably- Why do you look like you're rapping a verse right now? Because I technically <laughs> am in my mind. That's how I compose my sentence structure. <laughs> so you don't like President Trump? Absolutely not. You like democracy? I do like democracy. What if I told you that I think democracy is kind of cringe? It is. Sometimes. Maybe. It depends on how you- like what kind of democracy are we talking about? Like, uh, like sometimes- like, I, I enjoy I enjoy our, like, republic. Like, pure democracy yeah. is frightening. Like, sometimes I drive and I see, like, young white women like yourself. You just wanna hit them. No. I can't say that on camera. However, I will say that sometimes you guys do really dumb stuff, and I'm like, why do they get to vote, you know? Uh, and oh, absolutely. absolutely. So, if you were a voter, would you be voting for Joe Biden over Trump? Definitely Joe Biden. If you had to pick three reasons why that would be, what, what would those be, roughly? So, Joe Biden... I feel like he'd understand what it means to be an average American citizen. He comes from Scranton, he comes from a relatively modest uh, upbringing yeah. with some great parents by the sounds of um, I, I, I'm not, I'm not in that like, you know, uh, higher class. I want somebody to represent me. Trump's not going to do that. Did you grow up in Pennsylvania? Yeah, I grew okay. up just down the street. Okay, I grew up in Michigan. And so one thing that I'd just like to get your thoughts on is we had things like NAFTA, for example, that really hollowed out much of the Midwest. And so for you to be in support of Joe Biden because you think he can better represent like kind of the average middle American, how do you feel about then that his support of NAFTA has like hollowed out the Midwest to a large degree? Well, <clears throat> whereas Trump is trying to bring those jobs back. Um, so far, when it comes to jobs and how they've been treated by Trump and versus Biden you see I mean he wasn't Biden isn't president mm -hmm. we haven't seen what he's gonna do Trump has been president for four years and honestly I've I we're a pretty industrial town we're kind of on the edge of the Rust Belt yeah um, our ports are very important to us I've seen a decline in quality of our, our infrastructure and many of those things. And I've seen companies going bankrupt and leaving, especially with this whole COVID thing. So really, even though he may have supported NAVDA and whatnot, I think it's less damaging than COVID. Yeah. Because so, suddenly we're gonna need to give these jobs to healthy people in other countries that actually took this pandemic seriously, which he didn't, and he failed us. 
100%. That's what I call failure, and that's honestly borderline treason, if you ask me. Do you think that the, the businesses that were shut down, weren't those shut down because of government action? Or like, what do you think could have been better done by someone like Trump to make sure that that stuff could have been avoided? Oh yeah, businesses were shut down in response, but a lot of them aren't going to be able to reopen because yeah. they haven't been able to have enough of a steady income because really all they can do is sell stuff online. And like, I mean, for some people it may work, for some people they might not know how to do it, especially like the, some elderly people that are in charge of a mon pa kind of business. What are that, some things that you think that he could have done that would have handled this a lot better? Oh my God. Um, well, he could have um, further restricted um, the, uh, like he could have further restricted the economy, but a lot of them aren't gonna be able to reopen because yeah. they haven't been able to have enough of a steady income because really all they can do is sell stuff online. Instead, we must be united by the sounds of the ambient didgeridoo. <laughs> that pig? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna suck you. The country is polarized. Politicians are liars. They don't know what to do. But luckily for you, we do. Let's go, Joey. Did <laughs> What? Will you Will I run for Yes, I will, as a matter of fact. Trump supporter. A didgeridoo? A didgeridoo. Do you want to be the, the next member of our party? Didgeridoo's for Trump? No. Hell no, yeah, oh. dude. We got number five. Man, Let's go. <laughs> what is that, like a 300 The platform is very simple. If you don't like the didgeridoo, the you go to jail. This guy is gonna kid in. Hey, tag this guy in. Tag this guy in. Get her. Get her, big dog. Hop in. This guy just gets it. You can't really do much when the women get into this sort of this level. High T Biden Boomer? guys thoughts on the didgeridoo party? I hate the didgeridoo. I appreciate it. Thank you. you. Think that it has the potential to the country? I do. It, it's vibing. Hardcore. If Donald Trump was playing a didgeridoo right now, would you be more... more uh, I would not. I could not vote for Donald Trump even if he did play a didgeridoo. But I do appreciate your comic relief at a time like this. What if Biden came out against didgeridoos? Ooh, well... I I'm a one-issue voter person. I'm a single-issue voter, yeah. What are your thoughts on the did 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 you redo nationalist party? It's fantastic. What if Joe Biden did you redo? Decide with Biden because I would still I would follow Biden. Reason. I don't know. Like if you don't have any principles, like really, what's the point? You know. Like I'm a one issue voter. Did you redo? We don't like fascists in America. Do you think that Trump is a fascist? There's fascist. Oh, yes, absolutely. You could not say anything more true. It's still popping. I would like you to know that I have no idea how to solve that problem. Oh, there are some gamers right behind us. Yo, you got some game. <laughs> yeah, we do. What's going on, boys? I play mostly mod. So. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Yo, you playing creative? Survival mostly. Based? Based? What difficulty? Hard most of the time. Exactly, okay. So what are you guys? What are you guys doing out here? Um, I 
I came to see the president for the first time in my life. First time in your life. Absolute gamer. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Wait, how many? What are your thoughts? Alrighty then. It is. It, I am of the opinion that that instrument could single-handedly restore the fabric of the United States of America. Your thoughts? I think that man right there can start it. Okay, Paul, hear me out. That was my thought, which is why I formed the Didgeridoos for Trump Coalition. We currently have five members. We're looking to expand to six, seven, eight, perhaps even nine. Hey, you want an interview with the Didgeridoo Nationals Party? Basically, it seeks to reunify the country with the sound of the didgeridoo. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. He can. I can. It's upside down. Hold on. You know, it's really interesting. I don't even hear a frequency. I just hear unification. <laughs> I just, okay, so we already know the fake news media suppresses truth. They will not grant an interview to the Didgeridoo Nationalist Party. Oh, man. So I totally condemn eerie local news, totally bought and paid for by big brass, of course, the opponent to the woodwind nationalist broader movements. And uh, right in the pockets of big brass. Yeah. Should've yeah. Been. So, what's a good way to damage a brass instrument? Uh, Aren't you in band? Dropping it? Yeah, we're going to infiltrate the HQ. We're just going to pick them all up and just drop them. And the ethics of that, I guess, are questionable, but we're in unreasonable times, folks. One so. time I dented my trombone because I hit my brother with it. So, I think we should do that with all of their uh, instruments. If you want to build a didgeridoo ethnostate, uh, you gotta break a few trumpets, is really what it comes down to, folks. Exactly. I don't make the rules. Two I just safe arbitrarily enforce them. Yes. What's up? <laughs> Yo, get this guy's face. What's up? Oh my god. Hi. Do you want me to give you a box of It's good. What's up? What's up? You're, you're pretty uh, badass, I'm not gonna lie. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're pretty do you awesome. know me? Yeah, do I watch you all the time? Dude, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? It's awesome. Bro. Oh, that's epic. High IQ, high energy. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Let's go, bro. <laughs> you can laugh at didgeridoo nationalism, but it's your future. It's the future, my guy. I gotta look at this. Oh, do you? Gotta look at the didgeridoo. I, I knew it was a didgeridoo, so I was proud of myself. Yeah, it's like it's simple, it's beautiful, and it's what we need to unite our country right now. That's what'll do it. That's what will do it. Yeah. Like more. I feel you not listen. We we it united us. Exactly. Do you think? I don't know if that's right. Do you think that if police officers standard issue didgeridoos? Yeah. You said it. You said it, I'm mean, just saying. You could use it as a stick, too. Though. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Metal didgeridoos with beeswax mouthpieces? We, that's how you count. Instead of a social worker or lethal force, you beat him with a didgeridoo. Or play it. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. 100% expect to see something on social media about you saving the world with a didgeridoo. Yeah. Yeah. There, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Speak softly, but carry a big digiroo. Speak uh, softly, but buzz loudly. I'm going to make an assumption here. Please correct me if I'm wrong, or this is overstepping. You don't own a didgeridoo. No, but I know somebody who does. So, okay, Ooh, but that? you have to understand that for someone like you to come out here, you don't have as much at stake, <laughs> given that you don't have a didgeridoo. I need to go home. I, I would kind of feel better I'm, if you I'm did. A, I'm a poser. I'm just... Yeah, you're a poser. You know? Oh, my gosh. It, it's like wearing a Nirvana shirt while not wearing Oh, my gosh, Nirvana. and ah. only knowing smells like teen spirit or something oh like that. Oh, my gosh. Is that yeah. the song that you named for the example because that's the only one that you know? It is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I um, grew up in the 90s, so, come on. So, why don't you show your flag to the camera real quick? Yeah. Does that um, camera even work? I feel wh like what does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? Just because our instruments are archaic doesn't mean that our, our camera equipment is, is also... <laughs> so, how many Biden songs? What's your favorite Biden song? My favorite Biden song? Yeah, your favorite yeah, song, your favorite by, favorite Joe song by Joe Biden. I don't... have his words, so what's your favorite song by Joe Biden? Guys oh merch. my gosh. I'm putting... I need to Google it real quick. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Do you have a favorite Joe Biden song? I don't. Why are you out here even supporting him? I don't know. <laughs> you come. Ah, oh, abort the baby! Ah, oh, abort the baby! Ah, oh, abort the baby! Abortion is okay! Abortion is okay! Charlie, that's not for you! Women have the right to do whatever they want with their bodies! Women have the right to.
to kill innocent children. Oh, I had an abortion. Oh, I had an abortion. Oh, a fresh murderer here. Do you, do you have any remorse for your murder you committed? No. Who is the actual president if not Trump? No one right now. We have no good leader. We have like no president. That's insane. No, it is not. No, it is not. Would you murder a homeless person? Why not? Why not? Because I care about human life. I was 15. Okay. You don't know my story. It's the same thing. Because I don't like it when people are murdered. That's kind of my whole thing. You care about babies who weren't even born yet. Babies are humans. What's the difference? Are they not human beings? What are they? They're not. They're not. That doesn't make them less human beings. Are you about to cry? Do you care about illegal immigrants, though? Of course I care about illegal immigrants. Lives don't matter to you. Which one are you going to say? What do you want me to talk about? We're talking about abortion. What about it? Why do you think that it's okay to take an innocent human life? Because I was 15 years old and I was in an abusive relationship. That's why. So it was okay for the child to die because of that? Yes. That was just okay. Okay in your eyes. Are you mad about it? Are you gonna call me a murderer? Let's all work together and kill our children. Let's kill every single aborted. Every single. Uh, I use a parasitic gun. infection yeah. that a woman could have in her uterus. 100% affected. So the baby had to die because of your mistake. What if you were in an abusive relationship with somebody and you had a kid that was two years old and then all of a sudden the abuse got really bad? Could you just murder that child too? No. <laughs> Why not? What's the difference? Why do you Bro want me to have a kid so bad that I don't want? Bullets. Bro versus white. Why should I give birth to a kid that I don't want? You don't have to. You can give it up for adoption. You just, that is having to give birth. I don't, I don't want to put a kid in the foster system. I don't want they won't be. There are waiting lists for babies. Even babies with special needs have waiting lists. It's not a kid. If I kept it to term, it would be a kid. And I don't, I don't want... I don't want another kid in foster they won't be here, though. There are waiting lists for babies, newborn babies. Like the ratio is like 32 to one. Couples all over okay, who are I infertile. It. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. I'm just saying that like what you're doing is wrong. You're out here saying that it's right to rationalize your guilt. You you are literally on the verge of tears right now because you know that what you did was wrong. It was better for me. Let's kill the children. I'm selfish. Okay. You took an innocent human life. You know it'd be epic. Instead of phone banking and door knocking in Pennsylvania, let's just go to the rally, not get in because we didn't get there early enough, and then walk by the Trump protesters and say, Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> get triggered. That'd be epic. Oh, absolutely. That's what they just did. So yeah. now we're going to start yelling fake news at you because you said something incorrect. You, you Why would you do that? You're just, you're projecting <laughs> your guilt onto me because you don't own a didgeridoo. I'm just saying, all the Trump supporters surrounded the Erie News and started yelling well, fake news. Hold on. Let me when they go door to door now. taking our didgeridoos, I'm going to think of you when I yeah. hand it away. I'm when, the, remember when the DTF them. comes for yeah. you. <laughs> when the DTF... <laughs> When the DTF shoots your dog. <laughs> yeah. The DTF kicks in my door, no knock, shoots my dog, and takes my didgeridoo. I'm going to remember this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's your dog's name? Penny. Aww. Maisie and Bo. Yo, Wisconsin. you know what would have been epic? Remember when Barack Obama had a dog? Wouldn't it have been kind of epic if our first black president just straight up had a f***ing pit bull? And he was like like on the like the, the south lawn, just like taking a knee. Like That'd be ep okay. That's stereotypical. Oh, <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> that, to that's too far. To yeah, I'm gonna go tell the people down there <laughs> that no. you said that. Yeah. Boys, you're setting me up here. This is fair. Trooper, you're we got setting a fringe me up. Right You've made yourself an here. enemy since you're against the, the didgeridoo nationalist party. I'm not against the didgeridoo. If you're not well, with us, if you're not with silence is violence. Okay. If you're not making noise with the didgeridoo, you are complicit in violence. <laughs> You're complicit in the suppression. Oh. You just like you just like that news channel. <laughs> yeah, maybe even worse. Yeah, possibly. They're getting paid. You just do it for sport. <laughs> yeah, you just hate us for, for a hobby. <laughs> God. With my black heart. That's. What racist. do you mean black? What do you? Why, why is it? God. What's wrong with a black heart? Yeah, what's wrong with a black heart? Get me beat up, okay? What? Just stop. Are you saying they're more likely to beat you up? Oh my God. Oh. Dudes for Trump! <laughs>
idiots. Does not equate to why are we idiots? Because why do you care what I did five years ago? You could shoot her right now and I would care. You are killing somebody. I don't care when the cops kill black people though. Absolutely I do care. So why do you think that you can dictate not putting a mask on myself? It's my choice. Because we're in a pandemic. So what? I had COVID a month ago, okay? I'm not gonna get it again. I wonder how you got it. Oh, I wonder how I got it actually. I have no idea. I stayed home and I wore a mask because I live in New York State and I have to wear Even the CDC so says that the masks aren't effective. Now? Because I have already That's had it. I can't true. get it. I can't it, get it. It is true on the website. It for three to six months. No, the research is completely like inconclusive. There's nothing that says that it's actually effective at spreading the virus. Also, the death rate for people our age is like 0.0004%. Okay, you could still spread it to an old person. You're the selfish one. I'm You're not. calling me selfish. Oh, you're you doing care about old people? No, I'm not. Yes, no. I care about Your party people. actually put COVID patients in nursing babies. homes with old people. I just have one more question. Just have one more question. Can't help but notice that you're white. What's the backstory? Yeah. What's the lore with you being white? Yeah. What's the What's the whole explanation? I was about that. Well, immigration from Poland. You guys are Polish? <laughs> oh, based. <laughs> I was just gonna ask. So, if you think it's okay to like have an abortion if the child's gonna grow up in poor circumstances, do you think that it would then be moral to literally just execute children growing up in poverty right now? No. What would the difference be? Those people are already born. What's the difference? Like, what if you were killed in the womb 30 seconds before birth? Like, why is that transition between being in the womb? But it why actually does in some states. It happens in some states. The point that? being, how do you define life? What is the difference between being nine months old in the womb and then out of the womb? It's just geography. Like, physical location. It has no implication on the value of your life. Do you know what a zygote looks like? Yeah. That's, that's the level that I was at. So? Okay, so what constitutes do you think? Do you think that size dictates personhood? Like, how would you dictate personhood? The rest of my life for a decision I made when I was Because you could have given it up for adoption. You already said that you didn't want to give birth at all. Not even that you didn't want to adopt it. You just didn't want to go through that process. So you killed the child because you personally didn't want to deal with that. Yes. Pray for you. You don't need to pray for me. I, I will pray for you. I appreciate it, but I believe in God too. Yeah. Are you implying that I'm not a Christian? No, but I can tell just by talking to you that I think you're very emotional about the subject. I would imagine that it's because you do feel some regret about what you did because I think that you know that it's wrong. Okay. I'm emotional because I'm angry. Okay. You're pretending to care. I'm not pretending to care. It's in the past. It was in 2016. The Holocaust was in the past. I mean, it's. it's DNA, so don't even go there with me. Hey, yeah. Can you say, like, wear a mask? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boys. Did you, did you get that on your camera and on microphone? Did we get what? No, you Wait. just missed quality news. Oh, so, so you, you talked to you a... You missed it. Oh, you talked to a black guy once and you're like, everyone, look! Look how tolerant I am! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just using it for woke it's points. This is so brutal. This is so brutal. The white women, they just don't stand a chance. I'm too sharp. Did you just say that orange is sus? I did. Orange is sus. Is that new? Because earlier you said that black was sus. No, I never said black was sus. Orange is sus. We have to vote him out. I don't know. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Let's get some volume. Yeah, hold on. Wait, we're about to go.